हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द सेम चैप्टर दैट इज फ्रिक्शन एंड टुडे आई विल ट्राई टू फिनिश दिस चैप्टर सो ओपन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फ्रिक्शन इज अ नेसेसरी इवल मीन्स इट हैज एडवांटेजेज ऑल्सो इट हैज डिसएडवाटेजेज ऑल्सो सो इट हैज डिसएडवाटेजेज बट देन ऑल्सो वी नीड फ्रिक्शन इट्स वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एडवांटेजेज ऑफ फ्रिक्शन जिस जस्ट सी हेयर मार्क फर्स्ट पॉइंट फ्रिक्शन एनेबल्स अस टू वॉक विदाउट स्लीपिंग वी आर एबल टू वॉक ऑन ग्राउंड बिकॉज फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन बिकॉज ऑफ द फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द सोल ऑफ आर शूज एंड ग्राउंड प्रिवेंस फ्रॉम स्लीपिंग ओवर द ग्राउंड ओके दिस हैपन्स इन ऑर्डर टू टेक अ स्टॉप फॉरवर्ड ड्यूरिंग वॉकिंग वी लिफ्ट वन फुट ऑफ द ग्राउंड एंड पुश द ग्राउंड बैकवर्ड विद द अदर फुट डेफिनेटली वेन वी वॉक वॉट हैपन वी लिफ्ट वन फुट एंड वी पुश द ग्राउंड बैकवर्ड बाय द अदर फुट ओके सो okay by the other foot so if there were no friction now this with this foot you can see the ground is pushed backward okay now there is a friction between these two means uh, you know friction is due to the interlocking of the irregularities so here there are irregularities and on the floor also there are irregularities okay so there is a friction uh, between the uh, sole of the this sole okay of this issue and the floor and there is a interlocking so what happens when the other foot is uh, pushed on the ground okay it's kept on the ground it the ground it's pushed backward so what happens the force of friction it acts in the forward direction suppose if there is no force of friction then we would have slipped backward okay would have slipped backward since we push the ground backward we are pushing the ground backward so force is applied this direction in this direction and the force opposing that movement that is force of friction it acts in the forward direction making us walk okay since we push the ground backward the force of friction acts in the opposite direction that is forward direction prevents our foot from slipping backward okay so we we push it backward so force of friction is acting in this direction and preventing us from slipping backward and so it is a force of friction which makes us move forward at each step we take during walking if there were no friction between the soles of our shoes and the ground it would not be possible to walk okay uh, because our shoe would slip every time we try to walk so walking on slippery you know walking on slippery ground is difficult when we walk on a slippery ground or on the floor marble floor if the it's wet it's difficult for us to walk why because the force of friction is less so on the slippery ground is much less okay uh, which may not be sufficient to prevent us from slipping okay you can see here same thing is written here also if a person throws a bucket of water on a smooth marble floor it would become even more difficult for us to walk in this wet marble floor this is because the friction on the what is underlying marble floor it becomes very small which cannot prevent us from slipping okay so many times people slip on wet marble floor and fall down when we accidentally step on the banana peel thrown on the road we usually slip and fall down why because the inner side of the banana peel is smooth and slippery and it reduces the friction between the sole of our shoes and the surface of the road understood so if it is smooth means the the irregularities are lesser in number interlocking is not so strong understood so um, uh, advantage of friction is friction enables us to walk okay now see second point here friction enables a car to move on a uh, road without skidding the friction between the tires of the car and the road enables a car to move forward on road without skid skidding how when the engine of the car makes the wheel of the car uh, turn the tire pushes the road backward at the point of contact with the road okay so this is the point of contact of the road with the road and here the force is applied by the tire at the backward direction and the force of friction acts in the forward direction okay the friction between the tire and the surface of the road acts in a forward direction and prevent it from skidding in this way friction provides the forward force okay and friction is also providing the forward force okay which drives the car so applied force is in the backward direction but the frictional force is in the forward direction so car does not 
skid in this way friction provides a for uh, this i have told if there were no friction between the car tire and road then the wheels of the car would spin at the same place okay but the car would not move forward at all understood the car would stay where it was so this frictional force is also providing a forward force which makes the car move and also prevents it from skidding it becomes somewhat difficult to drive and control the car on a wet road this is because the presence of water on the surface of the wet road reduces the friction and makes it slippery it reduces the friction okay and because of the reduced friction there are more chances of skidding a car especially when brakes are applied suddenly okay so driving a car on a wet road needs extra care just like a car friction also enables a bicycle to move along a road okay so so this one you can simply read a uh, third point okay friction enables us to write and draw on the paper we are able to write and make drawings on the paper because there is a friction between the tip of the pencil and the paper now student this pencil it is made up of a graphite and what is graphite graphite is nothing but it is carbon so what happens you see here the pencil has a thin piece underlined thin black core made of carbon okay that graphite in the center that uh, the of the pencil the, the, with which we write that is graphite and what is graphite it is actually carbon okay and this is called as pencil lid when we write with a pencil friction with the paper rubs of carbon so when we are writing with the pencil so when we are writing so there is a friction between the paper and the nib of the pencil okay so there is a friction so this friction it rubs of the carbon particles which is present on the graphite or the pencil lid okay so it rubs of the carbon particle from the pencil lid which stick to the paper and leave black mark on the paper so when we are writing so what is happening this carbon particles this pencil lid it sticks through the paper and there is a force of friction because of which the carbon particles are rubbed off and it leaves a mark here similarly when we write with the pen the particles of ink rub off from the paper refill due to friction with paper stick on the paper and leave the o. same thing happens with the pen also if i am writing here like this there is a force of friction so what happens so this friction it rubs the here also it it sticks see here similarly when we write with the pen the particles of the ink rub of the pens refill okay due to force of friction with paper which sticks on the so here it's sticking so it's rubbed off the ink particles it's rubbed off and it leaves a mark on the paper if there were no friction between the pencil and pen and paper writing and drawing on paper would not have been possible we cannot write with pencil on the glass sheet why because force of friction is very very less and the particles of the carbon or the ink is not rubbed off okay because of the friction only wear and tear okay you will study in disadvantages of friction wear and tear takes place because of friction so when we are doing like this when we are writing so there is a force of friction between the two and this rubs of the car carbon particles okay and it leaves a mark here carbon particles are actually what is sticking here carbon particles so it rubs off and it leaves the mark here that is why with the eraser it can easily uh, it goes off okay a teacher is able to write on the blackboard with the chalk due to the friction between the chalk and the blackboard and when the teacher writes because of this friction the uh, chalk particles uh, which stick on the board is rubbed off and it leaves a mark there if you see clearly you uh, you can uh, ma make out okay uh, so and here the friction is more on the between the chalk and the uh, blackboard because blackboard has a rough surface okay Mm, friction enables us to pick up and hold the things in our hand yes if you apply oil in your hands and if you are a, and if you try to hold a glass uh, vessel then it 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 will be difficult for us to hold so we are able to hold anything in our hands because there is a force of friction between the surface of that object and the hand and there is a interlocking that is why the object does not fall down we hold a glass tumbler in our hand because the friction between the okay if the outer surface of the yes glass tumbler we are able to hold because there is a friction between the hand and the glass tumbler but if you apply oil on the outer side or a, if you glass tumbler if you uh, apply soap while cleaning it is difficult to hold the glass tumbler when the soap is applied 
okay because the force of friction is very very less and it slips if friction force of friction is less definitely the interlocking between the surface of the glass and our hand is less interlocking of the irregularities it is less force of friction is less and the glass slips away okay so same thing oil whether you apply oil on the glass surface or while washing if you uh, you we apply the soap and it's difficult for us to hold the glass vessels okay so that is only given here it is easier to hold a cooler yes earthen pot in our hand than a glass tumbler because cooler surface is very rough so force of friction is more so that is why we are able to hold cooler than a glass tumbler okay mm -hmm. nails can be fixed on the wall due to friction yes we are able to fix a nail on the wall because there is a force of friction between the surface of the wall and the nail okay its surface of the wall is very rough so that is why because of the force of friction we can it can hold uh, nail is held at one position but suppose if there is no friction then the nail will simply slip okay so that is what is uh, given here it is a friction between the surface of the nail and the wall which holds the nail tightly in the wall without friction the nails could not be fixed on the wall to hold things understood nails and screws are also held in the wood by friction because you know wood surface is so rough and the surface of the nail so there is a force of friction so it holds the wall and we can um, Okay. If there were no friction, then nails and screws could not be used to hold pieces of wood together, and hence we could not make any furniture. Okay, because of the force of friction only, it happens. The friction enables nails and screws to hold things together. Okay, when the there is a force of friction between the screws and the nails, you know, screw has a rough surface, so there is a force of friction, and that is why the wood or the um, other objects can be. held together so they nails and wood they held the objects together just because of the force of friction so the nails and the objects or the screws the surface have irregularities and there is a strong interlocking between the irregularities and so means there is high force of friction okay yes because of the friction only where a person is able to climb a tree or a Uh, pole without sliding down all the time okay so friction friction enables us to light a match stick yes there is a force of friction uh, you know that friction produces heat if you rub both of your hands rub both the hands please try uh, a heat is produced so friction produces heat also so when this match stick is rubbed with this box match box so heat is produced which light up the chemical of the match stick understood so that is all given here uh, the burning of the you can analyze the burning of the match stick would not be possible without friction just remember friction produces heat so in the smooth surface surface it is not possible to light a match stick okay so these are some of the advantages of the friction what are the disadvantages of the friction friction wears away the soles of our shoes yes like when we uh, write with a pencil there is a force of friction between the paper and the nib you know that and the force of uh, friction it rubs off the carbon particles okay which stick to on the paper so you know that when we write after some time the nib becomes blunt why because of force of friction it rubs off the carbon particles same way here also these are the shoes these are the soles you see soles have grooves soles here there the surface is rough so when we walk on the road what happens the force of friction is more that is why we are able to walk because of the uh, the interlocking between these irregularities on the sole and the surface it gets interlocked so what happens when we walk so there uh, what happens the frictional force is there and because of this frictional force what happened it rubs off the particles or the so of the sole and there is wear and tear see when we walk on the road there is a friction between the soles of our shoes and the surface of the road when the soles of the shoes rub against the rough surface of the road then tiny pieces of soles keep on breaking here like tiny pieces of carbon particles rubs off so so here also the tiny pieces of soles okay of our shoes wear out understood gradually the wear and tear of soles of our shoes ultimately causes holes in our shoes 
अंडर सू शूज गेट डैमेज एंड बिकम अनफिट टू वेयर द टायर्स ऑफ द व्हीकल वेयर आउट ग्रेजुअली ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन सेम केस हेयर सी दिस टायर इज ग्रूव सो वेन दिस टायर इट मूव ऑन द रोड वट एपन दे इज अ फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन विच अपोज इज द मोशन द फोर्स इज अप्लाइड इन द फॉरवर्ड डायरेक्शन फ्रिक्शन फोर्स इज द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो देयर इज अ वेयर एंड टेयर ऑफ दिस सर्फेस ऑफ द टायर रबिंग ऑफ टायर विद द रोड कीप्स ऑन ब्रेकिंग टाइनी पार्टिकल्स ऑफ रबर फ्रॉम द टायर सर्फेस ग्रेजुअली अल्टीमेटली ऑल द ट्रेड्स दीज यू कैन सी दिस इरेगुलर सर्फेस प्रेजेंट ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द टायर वॉर्न आउट एंड द टायर बिकम्स वर्ल्डली अंडरस्टूड ऑन नो सो टायर्स ऑफ बाइसिकल्स ऑल्सो वेयर आउट ग्रेजुअली ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शन ऑन द रोड friction wears out the rubbing machine parts uh, there are many moving parts of the machine you know it and it produces heat okay which rub against you know machine parts which rub against each other constantly so due to friction the rubbing parts of the machine wear out gradually understood friction also wear out moving parts like ball bearings of bicycle so i hope it's clear so any three or two objects which are in contact and which are moving so friction is there friction comes into play and the Uh, that surface it wears out. Okay, so same thing is here also. Machine parts they move against each other, they rub against each other. So there is a force of friction and it wears off the machine parts. Plus it also produces heat, which also. Okay. Now see here. Friction wears out steps of staircase in buildings and foot over bridges. When a lot of people use a staircase in a building every day, the friction between soles of a shoes and the stone. steps wears away hard stone steps very very slowly definitely when the same staircase is used by many people every day you will see after some time okay so the stone uh, this thing steps okay the particle stone particles on the stone step steps it wears away understood the when uh, the uh, the steps are used by many people so definitely there is a force of friction between the surface of the shoes and the stone steps and this friction between the surface of the soles and the steps it wears away soles also and the pieces of the stones also okay so many times we see worn out steps of uh, foot over bridges at railway stations the steps of foot over bridges in railway stations wear out due to friction caused by the shoes of extremely large number of people okay so it's not one it's extremely large number of people and it takes lot of time friction produces heat which may damage machine that i have told you just put tick here that it also reduces efficiency of a machine definitely uh, friction uh, will reduce the speed of the Uh, uh machine okay it slows down the motion now what methods of increasing friction very very easy you know what is a friction friction it is caused when the irregularities between the two surfaces gets interlocked so how we can increase the friction if the irregularities are increased okay so how we can increase what are the methods of increasing friction grooves are made in the shoes in the soles of the shoes to increase friction and prevent slipping okay because if these grooves are made what will happen the surface will become more rough and the force of friction will increase treads are made in the tires of vehicle to increase friction and prevent skidding of vehicles on the wet road you can see these small small grooves you can see here uh, sorry here in the tires just see in your book you can see this so these are the treads so they are made in the tires uh to make the surface rough so there will be the interlocking of the irregularities of the tire surface of the tire and road will be strong so what will happen the force of friction will be more spikes are produced in the shoes of players and at least to increase friction and prevent them from slipping you can see here so this all is done to make the surface more rough gymnastics apply some coarse substance on their hands to increase friction for better grip yes because that will make the surface of the hand rough so they will have a better grip because the force of friction will be more so the person or who whatever who so ever they will hold okay the will not slip because there will be a strong interlocking now machine belts are made of special material to increase friction and drive machine wheels properly methods of reducing friction because you know friction there are some disadvantages of the friction also like ma mainly is the wear wear and tear okay so how we can reduce friction friction can be reduced by making the surface smooth 
by reducing the irregularities so how we can make the surface smooth by polishing friction can be reduced by making the surface smooth by polishing example a slide of the park is polished to make the surface smooth and reduce friction due to the reduced friction of polished smooth slide children can slide down easily even a highly polished objects look rough when we see under the microscope so even in the polished surface also there is a friction but friction is less okay friction can be reduced by applying lubricants like oil and grease what will happen this these are the surface these this surface of one object surface of another object so without oil see the interlocking of the irregularities but when you apply oil here now this is the layer of oil so interlocking is not so much and not so strong so what will happen the friction will be reduced or no so please learn the headings only okay the substances please underline the substances which reduce friction are called lubricants like oil grease graphite or fine powder or lubricants the applying of lubricants like oil and grease to a machine are is called lubrication machines are lubricated with oil or grease to reduce friction a well lubricated machine runs more smoothly and lasts longer a bicycle mechanic and a motor mechanic uses grease between the moving parts of the machine to reduce friction and increase the efficiency if the friction is less it will work with more speed it will be more efficient so that is why they apply grease between the machine parts or between the moving parts of the machine to reduce friction and increase efficiency sometimes the hinges of the door make rattling noise when we open or close the door that is due to the increased friction caused by rusting okay so when a few drops of oil are poured on the hinges of the door the friction is reduced and the door moves smoothly understood or no definitely another is friction can be reduced by using wheels to move object because uh, rolling friction you know that will become uh, that will come into play and rolling friction is minimum so when in some of the objects when the wheels are given okay or wheels are used the friction is reduced because here the rolling friction comes into play understood so here also another thing please underline this friction can be reduced by attaching wheels to the heavy suitcase or any other heavy object which is to be moved due to very small rolling friction even a child can pull a heavy suitcase fitted with a small wheels so wheels are often used to reduce friction why because to give rolling friction which is minimum so all the moving vehicles like cars buses trucks bicycles are fitted with wheels to reduce the friction with the road ball bearing is a device which consists of a ring of a small metal balls you can see here so this is the ball bearings okay ball bearings are designed to make the moving parts of the machine to roll over each other rather rather than slide so between the machines these ball bearings are used so that the machine can roll instead of sliding and this will reduce the friction the ball bearing is introduced between the two surfaces which have to rotate over each other axle is fixed on the inner side of the ball bearing and a wheel is fixed on the outer side of the bearing it reduces friction okay even uh, putting friction can be reduced by using ball bearings between the moving parts of the machine here this is the ball bearing okay just remember this thing no need to go in detail what is a fluid friction what is fluid fluid are those substances which flow please underline those substances which are able to flow easily like gas or liquids okay uh, they do not have any shape like liquids and gases are fluids the most common liquid around us is water so water is a fluid the most common gas around us is air so air is a fluid thus water and air are the common fluids okay there is there is a friction between uh, there is a friction whenever any object moves
through the fluid moves through the fluid whenever any object moves through air or water there is a friction and that is called as fluid friction what is a fluid friction when an object moves through fluid and what are fluids uh, water and uh, or you cannot say water and air only what are what are fluids the gases and the liquids are called as fluid but most common gas is air and most common liquid is water so when an object moves through the fluids it also offer resistance to the movement of the object or they are or they also exert a frictional force which is called as fluid friction student air is very light it's very thin but it also exerts frictional force on the objects which moves through it okay it also opposes the motion of the object okay now suppose when the object moves through the air what happens it pushes the air away or it pushes the air out of the way and the air pushes the object air pushes back on the object okay when anything moves through water also or through air what happen in order to make the way it moves away the water and the air okay and it pushes back on the object and this push of the air or of the water on the moving object creates friction understood which is always in the opposite direction of the movement of the object okay and it slows down the movement of the object on in the air or in the water thus air exerts frictional force on car buses aeroplanes and rockets birds all the moving objects all the objects which moves through air and even all the objects which move through water in ke in air and water it is same if boats and ships if they move through water they also remove water uh, from the they have to make a way and what they do they also uh, this thing uh, push out the water out of the way and the water pushes them back which creates a frictional force okay when an object moves through water it pushes the water out of the way and due to and the water pushes back on the object and this push of water on the moving object creates frictional force and this they are moving and the water is pushing on the object and the frictional force in the opposite direction is created which tends to slow down the moving object i hope it's clear when the when any object moves through water let us say it it will what it does it pushes the water out of the way okay from everywhere and that water pushes the object object moves in the forward direction or the push of the water can be said to be a uh, applied force so frictional force will act in the opposite direction and will decrease the or reduce the speed of the object so thus water exerts frictional force on the objects like boat speed boat ship submarines fish which move through it please underline fluid exerts force of friction on objects moving through them this frictional force exerted by the fluid Uh, is called drag what is drag drag is the force of friction which is exerted by fluids or drag is a force of friction which is exerted by air or uh, you can say not air by solids uh, sorry by liquids and gases okay so uh, force of friction exerted on the objects moving through them that is called as the drag or the frictional force exerted by a fluid air or water here they are most common is called drag thus drag is a kind of frictional force exerted by fluid which opposes the motion of the object through the fluid drag force acts in a direction opposite that you know if drag is a frictional force it will always acts in a opposite direction in which the object is moving typical examples of drag force are the air resistance force experienced by a car or an aeroplane when they move at high speed so when car is moving at a high speed or aeroplane is moving at a high speed so what is the uh this thing drag the force of friction which opposes the motion and the water resistance force experienced by us okay so when any uh, and if any object is moving with speed that means the applied force is more <coughs> so drag is also more just let's see here the magnitude of frictional force that is drag exerted by a fluid on object depends on the speed of the object shape of the object size of the object and nature of the liquid higher the speed of the object moving through the fluid greater will be the frictional force that is natural 
greater will be the frictional force or drag acting on it for example an aeroplane flying at a higher speed of 1000 km per hour will face a greater frictional force of air than another similar aeroplane which is flying at a low speed so if the speed is more the frictional force or the drag is more please remember this the objects which have a streamlined shape streamlined shape like a shape like a bird like this this is the this is the this is the streamlined shape okay so any object having a streamlined shape faces much less frictional force that is drag when moving through the fluid than the object which do not have a streamlined force the car has a streamlined shape due to which it faces less frictional force of air when it moves while running at high speed if a bus is running at a, sorry car is running at a high speed it will not face so much of frictional force because of its shape on the other hand a bus does not have a streamlined shape so it encounters a much greater frictional force from air while running at the same speed so the speed the factors which affects the drag is speed of the object more the speed more the frictional force and the uh, which will try to reduce the speed more second is the shape of the object if the object has a streamlined shape okay then they uh, then the um, drag is less compared to the other shape and obviously if larger is the size of the object moving through the fluid greater will be the frictional force okay for example a bigger aeroplane flying at a particular speed will face more frictional force of air than the smaller aeroplane viscosity if the fluid is more viscous more thick you can say or more dense the greater will be the frictional force understood what is the disadvantage of fluid friction first fluid friction reduces the speed of the object definitely moving through the fluids second when the object move through fluids they lose some of the energy in overcoming the fluid friction this decreases their efficiency a body shape which offers little resistance to the flow of air or water is called as a streamlined shape this is the streamlined shape methods of reducing fluid friction how we can reduce fluid friction the fluid friction or the drag can be reduced or minimized by giving a special shape that is a streamlined shape this is the streamlined shape i have shown this is the streamlined shape this is the this is the streamlined shape fish also have a streamlined shape okay so to offer a frictional force can be reduced or can be minimized by giving a special uh, shape that is a streamlined shape to the objects which move through the fluids when a object has a streamlined body shape moves very fast then the fluids can flow past the moving object smoothly reducing the just remember this thing okay streamlined shape object should have a streamlined shape an aeroplane has a streamlined shape to reduce friction that is air resistance or drag that it encounters while flying at high speed through the sky okay uh, both the aeroplane and the bird have a streamlined body in the middle okay so bird and aeroplane both they have a streamlined shape that is why the drag is less the rockets are also built on streamlined shape so that they encounter the minimum air resistance or drag understood so please underline dolphins are streamlined by nature to reduce friction with water the objects such as boats speed boats ships submarines which move in water are also built on a streamlined shape so how you can reduce a fluid friction or a drag by giving a special shape that is a streamlined shape okay student so with this i complete this chapter and uh, i will uh, discuss question answers in the next class of this chapter then only one chapter uh, that also physical properties of metals and non metals is left i will discuss one or two important chemical properties of metals and non metals that we will finish in one or two class okay students thank you have a nice